We're out here at beautiful Chambers Bay Golf Course in University Place, Washington, getting ready for the U.S. Amateur Four Ball Men's Competition this year. Part of the green section responsibilities for the championships is to help support the maintenance team and their efforts and help the championship director get to the conditions that they want to get to. So we're on the 14th green and we're going to take some firmness readings and some speed readings. So we use true firm and we'll usually hit it in nine different spots on every green and come up with a grid and come up with an average. What we use that for is to let the championship directors know how firm the greens are so that they can predict ball reaction for the best players in the country. We're going to take some green speed readings now. We're going to use a stint meter. It's just a consistent way to deliver a ball and we can measure the, the distance that the ball rolls from the end of the stint meter. And what we're looking for here is a level spot on every green. And so before the championship starts, we will identify a spot on every green so we can come back to the same spot every day. And while we're not necessarily looking for a specific number for a championship, we're looking for consistency across all the greens. So we'll roll balls in two different directions usually three balls in two different directions and then we'll take the average of those and we'll roll them back in the same direction and we'll measure from the stint meter to this next average so we'll take the average of those three balls for 10 feet and 11 inches so we have our green speeds and our firmness readings for this particular green we'll move on to the next screen our goal is to get all 18 greens and the putting green done before play starts every day let's move on usually we'll have a couple agronomists at every championship we'll Start anywhere from four to six in the morning, depending on the time of year. How firm the greens are and how fast they are directly impacts the playability of the golf course. Our goal is to stay after the maintenance and before our USGA course setup team to give them the information so they can set up holes properly. So there you have it. There's a behind the scenes look at how we prepare all the greens for a USGA championship.